Hello Aries. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the first week of September. This reading is for the for the sign of Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first week of September. If you are a returning viewer, I welcome you back. If this is your first time visiting the channel, I welcome you to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, I ask or offer that you, um, offer to you the option to subscribe to the channel. If you want to support, if this reading resonates with your situation, or if you just like my energy, you can subscribe as well. Some of you could be dealing with another Aries at this time. Could be going through a possible hardship or feeling the need to walk away from something. To become more successful in love. I'm going to shuffle two more times and then I will begin your reading. Or start pulling, pulling cards for your reading. One more. Cards are so big, I can't shuffle them the other way. I have to do it the long way because my hands are too small. Oh, okay. First card that came out, the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Spare wise, the Four of Pentacles there. Okay. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. With the Hangman. Pisces energy. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or have Pisces in your chart. Here, what is the immediate past energy? Okay. We have the Three of Wands. Overall energy, the Ace of Swords. For the future, we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords. What are you fearing? What is the sign of Aries fear? Okay, we have the, the Princess of Swords. Aries, I feel like you're, you're thinking a lot. You have a lot of sword energy here where you're dealing with an air sign. Could be dealing with an air sign, but I feel like you have um, a lot of things on your mind as well. We have the Ten of Cups here. Could be thinking about love, family. <coughs> That's too many. Let's see what you're hoping for and get your outcome. What is the sign of Aries hoping for? What is the sign of Aries hoping for for the first week of September? What are your hopes for the first week of September? Okay. All right. <clears throat> yep, we got the two of wands. Your outcome is the Prince of Cups, and it came out with the Devil. Someone could be dealing with a Capricorn or have Capricorn in their chart or in your environment. So starting out, Aries, you have the Four of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. So you could be... Um, You could be holding back or cautious about spending money at this time.
you could be holding back or cautious about holding back and cautious about <clears throat> your finances at, at this time. Could be because of a Pisces with the hangman energy. Yeah. I feel like you, you could be saving money at this time. Working hard for um, maybe for more money. Saving to could be saving for more money or something saving up for some saving for something that's going to make you um successful with the three of wands because you're looking to success looking to looking to these you're looking you're saving this money and it's causing you to feel like you're stuck, like you can't do anything because you're saving, but it's going to result in you being um it's going you're going to be successful. Your overall thoughts are the ace of swords. So I feel like with the ace of swords, you're going to have a new beginning because Maybe someone told you the truth about something. You found out some truth about your finances. Or maybe you spoke some truth to yourself and realized that you need to save money. Yeah, because with the Four of Swords, I feel like you're recovering at this time. So this could be like a you're recovering from... Um, maybe you put out a lot of money towards something that you shouldn't have. If this is not pertaining to money and this is pertaining to love, you could have your current energy is that you're holding back from a person because you are working on your financial stability. So you're holding back with the hangman energy here. Because you want success financially. And you're going to tell this person what you're doing. You're going to tell this person the truth with the um, Ace of Swords. And you're going to have a new beginning. But right now, you are taking a step back with the Four of Swords. You're taking a step back with the Four of Swords. to work on your finances because I'm looking at this woman in this car in the princess of swords and she is fighting she look like she's ready to go to to war with someone like you could be battling with yourself self about um <clears throat> how you're going to get more money Or saving this money or you could be meditating because this person right here is meditating this person is going in opening up that that um, third chakra sorry it just got real dark I apologize. Come on. I'm sorry. My um when my laptop screen goes down, it turns the light off, the lamp. And as I was saying earlier, I have to get this program so that it stays on. But this person, she is meditating and going in. So, Aries, at this time, you could be meditating and um, could have received some enlightenment because I'm looking at this skeleton and his right here, there is enlightenment. And I feel like you're ready to go to work for the stability in a relationship or in love. 
because you want the ten of cups. You want the ten of cups. You want commitment. You want to be happy in a marriage. You want, and all of those things, as far as commitment, a happy marriage, a happy life, you still need financial stability. So I feel like that's what you're working on. Especially if this is my male Aries. Masculine Aries. With the two of swords, I'm sorry, the two of wands. A decision is going to be made. Or others see you as making a decision for yourself. To love yourself first. Others see you as making a decision to love yourself first. Because this man is standing here alone. He's alone, but he's um he's focused. He's focused on what it is that he wants to do to have this better life. So you're focusing on yourself. And this could be you or your partner. The energies could go either way. But I feel like you're focusing on yourself at this time. And with the devil energy, Capricorn energy here, I feel like um, you are walking away or you have, as the devil is in the outcome. So I feel like you... Because in a regular deck, the devil represents um, manipulation. You could be overindulging in work at this time. I feel like you're overindulging in work. And overindulging in work. And I feel like you could be, um, someone could be trying to tempt you or trick you into, um, tempt you into going the way that they want you to go. But I don't think you're going to do it. Yeah, because at the bottom of the deck, you have the three of cups. You want, you're trying to achieve happiness. You're trying to achieve happiness. Two of Pentacles, you're balancing out your um, finances. Moving on with the chariot, cancer energy. New passionate beginnings, ace of wands. Balance, give and take, two of cups. Prince of wands, taking action. Making judgment calls. Nurturing yourself, the empress. Because I feel like in the past there was a hardship. I think I said that during the... Um, during the shuffle that there was some type of hardship so you're just trying to be secure in your finances you're trying to be financially secure and i feel like your partner is trying to this could be trying to distract you let's see let's see let's see let's pull your partner's energy because I, I feel like this person is trying to distract you from um you could be overindulging at work. Spirit, what is it? The um, energy of Aries partner. What is the energy of Aries partner? I'm not going to even say what I just saw. <laughs> okay. Yep, this is what I just saw. It was in another court. But it was, it was the butt. The behind. 
All right, so we have the Queen of Cups. Is that Queen Two of Cups? Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups, yeah. So I feel like um, <clears throat> your person is is focusing on the give and take part of this relationship because, like I said, you you turn your back to focus on your finances, and your partner is thinking about giving and receiving giving and receiving and you both could lo love to indulge in oral sex and Aries that with the Emperor here this person wants this give and take with you this is your energy. They want to hold you down, hug you, kiss you. So there is love here. We have the Knave of Pentacles. So this person wants to come in and give you something good. They want to come in and give you something good. With the Knave of Pentacles. But with the Three of Wands. Yeah, this person is focusing on um, the relationship. They want to give and take. They want to be happy. They want to celebrate. They could want to marry you. Why is this the real wine too for Aries' partner? And again, someone really loves oral sex. <laughs> All right, we have the world card. Some of you could be dealing with a fixed sign, a Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or an Aquarius. Someone wants to end a cycle and they want to start a new cycle with the world card being here. And with the seven of swords, I feel like this person feels as if the situation is not going as they plan because you chose to focus on yourself. So let's pull one more card for the outcome. What is that? Okay, I think two or three. Two came out too. We have the eight of swords here. Someone feels restricted. They feel like they are restricted and they can't get to you because you blocked them off. They feel like a fool with the fool card. They they are uncertain of where this relationship is going. Someone is uncertain of where this relationship is going. They feel beat down. They feel like a fool. Uncertain of where things are going because you're focusing on you. You are focused on yourself, nurturing yourself. And this person is, um, yeah, you might, someone give us some good head because that's all, that is all I see in these cards. So I'm going to leave it at that, Aries. If this is your reading or your situation, comment below. Um, continue to focus on you. Everything else will fall into place. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. I thank you for watching. Enjoy this upcoming week, and I will see you next time. Bye.